Hello and welcome to our cargo tracking system. Tracking system. I am Abdul Mohamed, uh, accompanied by uh, Muhammad Rashid and Mio Akifakma, who will be presenting uh, on our topics, which is cargo tracking system. Okay. So first, we're going to go through the uh, the objectives of our system. Lah. So the first one is that it is for us to develop a real time ship tracking system using IoT technologies like GPS and RFID. Um, currently, we're just going to use uh, GPS as our main pr prototype. Okay, so second one is that we want to integrate uh, inventory management for comprehensive inventory, shipment, and order visibility. Okay, the third one is that we want to design a scalable and adaptable system for businesses of all sizes and industries. And the fourth one will be is for us to implement robust security measures to protect shipment data and ensure regulatory compliance. Alright, so moving on to the second one, which is the significant, uh, which will be for the company, uh, we should have two, uh, two targets, which is the company and the customers. Right now, for the company, uh, efficient tracking operational efficiency and better customer service on a, for our customers right uh, we need them to have a peace of mind a safety regarding their cargo and also they are enhance their experiences and have make sure they keep, they are happy while ha while uh, waiting for their products so <clears throat> our problem statement right now uh, or the problems that we we have to face through during our development is then the reasons why we want to develop in the first place in the first place is that we currently has a limited real time data on the on the status of the cargo while it is uh while it is on road basically there's also a manual and error prone processes where once we when currently we are relying on the ma manual communication and documentation over the lines in those things can bring us to prone to errors and complicates logistic operations and delays real-time updates. Uh, the third one will be increased operational cost. As usual, uh, increased errors equals to increased operational cost. Lah. And the fourth one will be the disorganized tracking system. It's just, it gives us just a headache when seeing uh, the manually tracking system uh, compared to our automatic tracking system. So, <clears throat> Is going to be the system process. Uh, first, the item will be loaded into the cargo and all the sensors will be activated. Uh, the second one, the items will then be intermittently updated over the course of the journey. The third one will be the user can see the progress of the delivery through an interface showing the condition of the cargo, which we'll go through. We will go take a look later. The fourth one will be the cargo once arrived, which show the condition of the cargo, whether it is open or not. Okay, so now here's the system design. As you can see, we have uh, once the user once loaded, the user can see the status of the sensors. Uh, whenever in transit, the user can see the updated cargo status, whether it's open or not. User can also see the location of the cargo in real time, uh, updated in the website. And so, uh, we're going to go to the here's the sensors that we're going to use. The here's the uh, light sensor, the GPS sensor. And the PIR sensor, and we also have uh, the prototype, the truck inside and outside. 